Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this is creating a cooling grill inside of Autodesk Inventor Sheet Metal. And what we'll actually see is how we can adapt one of the plastic tools to help us in this environment. We'll start out with this electronic enclosure, which I've downloaded off the Hoffman website, and we'll just put a cooling grill in here, much like you'd see on the back of a personal computer. I'll just place a sketch on that face and draw a square two inches by two inches to represent the perimeter of that grill. Now I'll use my circle tool and I'll draw an island in the center of this rectangle. 3 8 diameter and then I'll go ahead and use some dimensions to get this positioned on center where I want it, making use of some equations. With that section done, we'll go ahead and use the line tool, and this is going to define the ribs uh, for our grill. I'll go ahead and position that with a dimension, and then use the pattern tool to go ahead and fill out the rest of that pattern. With the horizontal ribs done, I can move on to the vertical ribs, and this is basically the same process as before. There's our dimension and a pattern to complete that out. Now with that pattern done, I can go ahead and finish my sketch, but now I'll go to my model tab and I'm going to grab the grill tool from the plastic section. I'll define my boundary island and ribs. My boundary is just a perimeter and I'll set that depth right there to the parameter thickness because this is just going to be the same thickness as my sheet metal. The island, I'll just select that and there's no thickness parameter to change there. And then we'll repeat the steps and choose the profile for the ribs. And notice how I use the crossing window to facilitate that. We'll also set this equal to the thickness parameter. And setting that equal to the parameter means that if I ever change this box's th thickness, the grill will update along with it. Spar and draft we won't use for this, so I'll just hit OK. And now I have my grill. Pretty quick. But let's go ahead and go for some bonus points and take it one step further. I'm going to make a punch out of this. So to do that, I'm going to edit my sketch, and I'm going to place a point on the center uh, of my grill right there. That's going to help me place this punch once it's created. So I'll finish my sketch. And now I'll go to the Manage tab and choose Extract Eye Feature. I'll select my grill and define it as a sheet metal punch. I'll also go ahead and give it an ID. And this would help me out in the drawing. And then I'll go ahead and save that to the Punches section of my library. And give it a sensible name, of course. Once that's saved, I can go ahead and take this grill and I'll place it on the other side now, but using the punch tool. So here I create my sketch and I position a point on this face where I want to locate that grill. I'll go ahead and give it some dimensions. Finish this sketch. And now I can go to my sheet metal tab, choose punch, browse to that fan grill I created, hit open, and locate that new grill just as a placed feature on that point. Hit finish, and now it places almost like an AutoCAD block, exactly in, done, and that takes care of it. So there you go, how to quickly create a sheet metal grill or a cooling grill inside of Inventor's sheet metal package. Thank you very much.